Hey guys, and welcome back to this war of mine. This is Lowitz Lucas with Noble Struggle. So this is episode three now. Uh, we're going to finish off day four, finish off the night, and then we're going to go ahead and um, call that an episode so that we don't have to keep on doing midday episodes. It kind of throws things off a little bit, and watching might get a little bit annoying if that was all we were doing. So... We're not making the distiller yet. We don't need to make alcohol yet. We don't need it yet. Um, we don't need a secondary cooking station, workstation, or that. Another bed might not be horrible. But let's look about upgrading. Upgrading is what we're doing. So awesome. So they're both content. They're happy. They're solid. That's great. Uh, see what we can work on. Honestly, this is a really good start. Okay, so nothing there. Can we upgrade this? No. Uh, radio, I guess, is the only other thing. Hmm. Alrighty. So, it expands what we can do. This right here. This is the guy that we need. Rat traps are great. They give you food every now and then. You reset them with a small tomato, and it's awesome. Um, these are also extremely, extremely important. They help you with defense. The more we can do that, the better. So priority is wood. We need a lot of wood, a little bit of this. Um, gardens are decent. <sighs> decent to an extent. Um... So this, this, and rat traps. Rat traps and this are more important than this, but we'll we'll work through it as we go there. Um, later on, we can make a herbal shop, and we need to make one of these at some point. So once we listen to the radio, I think we'll be done for day four. And honestly, I'm probably only going to use this side. If I ever use this side, it's going to be like a one-man shop over here that's tinkering with the herbs. So nothing on the radio. So no pre-warnings. I think it warns about three days in advance so you can prepare for winter. And that helps tremendously. Because um, if you get caught off guard, everyone's cold. And, uh, yeah, at least it's warm. And it really sucks. So we can't craft anything. We're kind of where we are. We have, we need one extra food to last tomorrow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end the day there. Oh. Well. Call me sweet. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to end the day. So she's going to guard. He's going to scavenge. The ruined villa. Oh, I didn't read that. Um, we could steal from these guys. Oops. We don't want to steal from other people surviving. I want to try to be morally good on this game. So this is not bad. Considering what we need, I don't think this will be an issue. So let's go ahead and go here. Uh, we'll bring the crowbar with us just to pry open any doors that come through. So there's homeless people here. 
but usually homeless people, they don't care too much. They're kind of just here. I mean, to be fair, the difference between my group and a homeless person is that we found a home. <laughs> oh. Pile of rubble there. Wow, nothing there either? It's, it's probably a rat. Yeah, it's a rat. Let's see, this is locked. It's not... Alrighty, guys. Um, since this is literally the only thing on this video going on, I will talk to you guys after this rubble's gone. So, see ya. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back. I have finally got through the rubble. It only took almost 24 hours. No, it took about five game hours. Okay. Now, the thing is, if we can't loot any more, it is worth the effort to work on any other piles of rubble to get through them. Oh, there's a lot there. Oh, and then there's a little break area. It's good. Interesting to see what's on that rooftop, but I don't want to take up all the time. Okay, one piece of wood. I bet's okay to leave. Ah. See, it tries to trick you in some places, but like that rubble, that doesn't need to go up. Electronic component. We need these more right now. No, 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 no. We need these more for barricades for wood. Yep. Then we can come here, pick up the rest of this. If we didn't have as much electronic components, it might be a little different. But here... That's one barricade by itself and two. So we really don't have too much that we're stacking, unfortunately. Again, not crazy. Um, what I might do is actually leave the crowbar like in an early area and uh, replace it with other loot. So that we can take back extra later on. Wow, there's a lot. That's two piles of rubble? Oh, jeez, that's a lot. That is a lot. We're coming back here. So here's the classic bunk. So we need another thing to get through here and get into here. Um... That's the treasure room of this area. I think all the homeless people are down here. Because this is a huge place. I don't know if you guys see that or not. Uh, another electronic. Or we're still on the lookout for... Poor dude. Man, you just have artillery shooting. More rubble. They don't care about uh, rubble too much. The homeless people don't. Those meds are insanely good.
No one's freaking out that we're opening this up, so that's okay. Another gear, that's good. Working on that rat trap. Oh, 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 I just got run. Oh, it's gonna be 5 a.m. Oh, fuck! Run! Run! He's not gonna make it. I was too deep. Oh, he's going to return later. Crap. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Alright guys, day five. The night was calm. Oh, sweet. He returned after helping the wounded man. We didn't get the food. Very tired. Alright, go ahead and sleep. Um. Well, he doesn't have anything with him. No, Bruno, you're my... Come on, go to the cook. Yeah, let's make those two real quick. We are now out of food, which is not great. So we need to get those gears. I'm going to have her eat, and then we'll be good. Um, so after she goes ahead and eats, guys, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to skip towards the next time there's anything going on. Because otherwise, we're just going to watch these two sleep, and the only person I want to watch sleep is myself. So... Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the future. Ah, hey guys. It's been like 10 seconds. Um, Pav has returned from searching for supplies and brought interesting things. Way to go, Pav. MVP. So he's tired and hungry. I don't have food for you, Paul. I'm sorry. I am indeed sorry I don't have food for you. Um. Come on now. There we go. Now you're back on any thought control. But I say, like, man, you're you're just not moving. I don't pay you the weight. So, not able to make yet. Need more gears. That's okay. This though we can make. We will make it. Where are they gonna patch up on this one? Okay, they're patching up that window there. There we go. We now boarded up our place and made our base a little bit more secure and also have some meds. So that's great as well. Um, question is what's next? Uh, we need to focus on food uh, next, I think. Uh, would a shovel help? Another knife would be good, but making a gun would be better. Uh, we already have one knife, so... Um, a shovel that was kind of expensive. It's good, but it's not great. I think we're, I think we'll be okay without a shovel. Let's see, is there anything else we can make here? Yeah, it's always good to have one of those going, so we'll make one of those. 
So the next run, it's gonna hurt for food, but we need the scavengers the same place we were just at. I'm curious, how much is this to upgrade this? So we need another gear piece, some wood. Yeah, we're just gonna need more materials. Well, hopefully this goes well. He's tired though, so I think I think Bruno It depends. Uh whoever has a bigger pack. I think Katya actually has a decent pack. Uh let's go ahead and listen to the radio and see if there's anything going on. Ah, here we go. The city of Porgen is suffering extreme shortages of even the most vital supplies. If this goes on, most people will become scavengers, scouring the skittery for anything to use. So, in other words, it's saying more people um, are going to be coming to our house trying to scavenge. So we need to be alert. Which is okay. We, we always put someone on guard anyway, so we're going to be just fine. So that's going, that's going. You need to get some sleep. And uh, with that, my guys are hungry still. They're hungry. They're going to be very hungry by the next day. And I don't know what's past very hungry. Maybe we'll see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Let's go through. I'm going to edit out the bits uh, between now and nighttime. But I'm going to let it ride. I'm going to see if uh, Paul cannot be tired. Like if he sleeps enough for these next couple hours. But we'll see. Alrighty, so she is going to be our scavenger. He's going to sleep because he's tired and hungry. He is the only one who didn't eat. You are late to the mill, man. And uh, you are going to guard. Bruno, do not fail me. Do not get hurt. You defend. Defend the wall. Ah, uh, huge amounts of food. It's tricky with that food. We're going to go here, and we're going to see how it goes. I am going to take a crowbar with me. No, I'm going to take this because the hobos aren't dangerous. Alrighty. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do quick, easy. Run through one. Run through. Come on, come on, come on. Grab all. It's actually all things we need, so. Can't go down that way. So we're going to come back here. We're going to work on that. And then we're going to have to run this way. Oh, two gears. That's awesome. That's good. That can either be an upgrade on the weapons bench. Or that can be waiting for that rat thing. Upgrade on the weapons bench, though, might take it for me. Oh, we're kind of running. So we can't take all. I don't need the electric part. I take these two. That's another barricade I can make. That's good. Uh, the medicine in here is great. Don't get me wrong. That's another one. I might drop off the lockpick. Um, what 
What's this note here? I prepared the secret stash behind the fridge, like you asked. I already put some stuff there so you can see it in the works. Okay, so let's go to the fridge. Oh, two more gears. You're making my day. And food. Booze is also a huge trader, so we're gonna actually get rid of that. Ooh, a lot of water. We're making water now, so it's not as crazy as it is. Um, so I'm content with what we got. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna work on these bits as much as we can. I think it's here? So, oh no, it's one more up. So like I said, uh, I'm gonna work on these pi uh, piles a bit. I don't think I'm gonna get through them before the night's gonna end. So I will talk to you guys afterwards. I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I'm trying to hold out. I'm trying to hold out for it to clear, and I'm running. Oh, come on. You're almost there. Okay. Run exit. You can do it. You can do it. You only got... You got less than 20 seconds. Oh, she's safe. And we got through both piles to spit out. Day six. We got raided. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be surprised. Ah, there we go. Awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. Alright guys, this is Lucas. I'm going to sign off for this episode. This is now episode 3. I'll see you guys in episode 4. Appreciate you.